everybody welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing let me try and just this hope you're all doing well and we're in the move process still so i thought uh i'm packing up some of my books and i actually wanted to go through some of my coffee table books with you as i thought you might find this interesting so let's get into it the first book is this book here. This is called The Elegance of Cat. And this is a coffee, beautiful coffee table book. Uh, let me see if I can show you this. It has really beautiful images. I really like cats. So for me, it's just lovely. It has, for example, just different images of different cats. I think it goes through all of the different breeds. I just love it. This is my first coffee table book. It's called Elegance of Cats. I actually got this in a thrift shop. So that was good. And yeah. It's just really nice pictures. Um, it says it's by Tamsin Pickerel. So yeah, and it says an, The Elegance of Cats, an illustrated history. If I can find these books online, I will link them as best possible below for you. The coffee table book is my Wedgwood book. Uh, you may have seen my Wedgwood collection video. It's either going up before or after this. So if it's after, then obviously you, you've not seen it. But this is the Wedgwood book and it's really pretty. And again, inside. It's just full of really nice designs and things. Let me just open up and show you some. So this goes through all of the different ceramic displays that they did. So some Jasperware. All the way through to, you know, the, these kind of, but yeah, just really crazy, unique pieces. Really beautiful. And this has all about the history in here as well. Really beautiful. This was a gift from my sister for my birthday this year, which was a really nice gift because if anybody knows, I got really obsessed with Wedgwood this year. Elizabeth Taylor, my obsession, what's it say? Elizabeth, I have never seen anything so magnificent as all of this jewelry. It's just staggering, not to mention what you're wearing. I acquired this about a month ago. Isn't really? It the most gorgeous. That, it's unbelievable. You bought this for yourself? Yeah. How nice for you. See? Yeah. You're so good to you. Well, there's nobody else around. <laughs> Do people... Look at this. It's beautiful. And this basically... Oh, look at her eyes. Look. Wow. And this basically has all of her jewellery collection in here. Wow. That her and... But well, that she basically collected all throughout her life. So it's it's detailed pictures of all of her diamonds and jewels. It also talks about her in here. It's just exquisite. If you like jewellery, you will love this book. Or well, her her history meaning her life. It's lovely. So this is a nice one as well. I don't remember where I got this. I think I might have thrifted this as well, you know? I'm not gonna lie. I think I might have. How much was this to buy new? No idea. This is from my boyfriend and this is called The Extraordinary Beauty of Birds. And this is a fabulous book. Look at this. It tells you all about the history of birds. It goes through all their different feathers and all their different breeds. It's very interesting. The pictures in this are so detailed and beautiful as well. Talks about, tells you all about bird nests as well. It's a really beautiful book. I mean, look at, look at the cover. Stunning. Stun. Look, and look at this. This is an Eastern Wood Pew nest egg. Oh, this is an Indian peacock feather. Love it, the book feels amazing. We be all night. 
next is a book by Tessa Williams. It's called Cult Perfumes. And this was a gift from my old boss, actually. And this just goes through all different perfumes. Tells you all about different brands, different notes. I'm guessing it's kind of going through the history. So look, you have Joe Malone in here. Pen Halligan's is in here. Wow, do you know what? I need to read this book. I need to read up on this book. You know, I don't think I've read, I've not read it for a while. And yeah, I really need to look into this. If you don't know, Pen Halligan's is actually something that I've really grown to love recently as well. And it's very expensive, but whew, lovely. It's got Robert Piguet in here. I think that's Roja Dove. Roja Dove. Wow, everything is so beautiful. Santa Maria Novella. This I need to start reading more. I have another one. This is called A Feline Zodiac Star Cats. And this is all about star signs of your cats. So it has all different pages. I just thought this was really cute. And it tells you about your cats. So that's nice. Oh, and then I also have these. These I actually... Dusty. These are the Louis Vuitton Travel City Guides. And this is from 2002. And, also, and they have it here in different places. And this one is from... I don't know what year this is from. What year is this one from? This one is quite old. Why doesn't this one have a year on it? Anyway, this one is quite old and basically it has all the different city guides in here. And they do quite a few. I actually was going, I was going through a phase of where I wanted to collect all of them. Um, but I don't have space or storage or any kind of situation for this, nor could I really justify spending loads of money on just these because it's not really that practical and I should be saving money. Um, but yeah, so you have, I can read it from the spot, well, there's a lot of cities on here, so, so they are different, so I'll read you, I'll read you the most recent one, which is 2002, and this has Amsterdam, and Antwerp, Barcelona, Berlin, Bordeaux, Brussels, Budapest, Copenhagen, Dublin, Florence, Geneva, Granada, Hamburg, Helsinki, Istanbul, Lille, Lisbon, London, Lyon, Madrid, Marseille, Milan, Moscow, München, Paris, Prague, Rome, Seville, Stockholm, Venice, Vienna and Zurich. Now I probably pronounced some of those countries wrong, I'm really sorry. Um, but these are, it's an interesting read. I'll get one of the books out. So um, it has Lots of information and pictures in the inside. I think, what well, I don't know, I just like it. I think it's cool. I think it's cool because if you go to a city, I suppose if you had the most recent one, you could just take the book with you and it's your city guide. I guess that's the idea behind them. But yes, I have two of them for now. I'd love to get more in the future and have just a bookcase full of all the different colors. I think it would look amazing, but you know. Next one I have is this dream book. It says dreams and dreaming, an A to Z of all your dreams. And it's just got loads of different meanings for your dreams. And to be honest, I've had this since I was a teenager, I think, such a long time, so yeah. And then my last one is this book. It's called The Snow Tree. Now this is not a coffee table book, but this was a gift from my grandparents. Uh, from my nana and granddad and this was from I'm just going to cover up their message this is from 1998 so that's a long time and it's a, it's a beautiful book it has beautiful illustrations it's really nice it's called the snow tree and uh, I just like it and I like to have it out because it's a sentimental book to me so the snow tree. 
I think that is pretty much it for in terms of books that I have stacked up. So that's it for my coffee table books. I have a few more books that are down here, but they're more um, studying books. So I have beauty, I have be uh, beauty therapy level two, three, four books, some like management books and so, something else as well. I do actually have here, let me show you this. This is a bucket list book and uh, I've not filled a lot of this out actually. And, oh! So it basically has all your different ages that you can do it. I've not really filled things out, but. Um, I find it hard to plan that far ahead necessarily, like in my 80s and stuff. But I guess it's an idea, um, I guess it's it's an idea to, I should use this more actually. I guess this is an idea that uh, you can look back over your life and remember everything. So that's actually, I should start doing this. This would maybe be a good idea to fill in. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. A little bit of a quick video today. I'm looking a bit crazy, uh, but whatever. We're all friends here. This is how we look. So uh, thank you for watching. Please give my video a like. I would really appreciate it. If you want to subscribe and see more content, click it down below. Click that notification bell as well. And until next time, I will see you all very soon. Bye. Thank you.